the white jersey of best young rider for liquid gas on the right hand side of your screen at the moment sky having brought men up to the front seem to have disappeared a little bit now dropped off they're still fighting i think matt goss is uh, behind henderson now uh, you can see henderson's got himself into a, a position and goss the australian for htc high road now moving up towards the front htc high road see the little gap and move goss up towards the front Well, somebody taking up the challenge to string them out now at HTC High Road. Martin back, Goss. Uh, there's Laos back on the front. Really now turning up the pace. And the other man, I think, is Rasmussen. Oh, look at this. A uh, puncture for uh, Luis Leon Sanchez. Rear puncture. Well, he's in the last three kilometres. So uh, that's not going to be too much of a problem. Even so, he's, he's uh, been clever there, Sean. I would think he'd probably had that puncture a little bit before then. And he's continued to ride. Gets himself within the last three kilometres and therefore won't lose the time. Came back over the shoulder. And uh, it's HTC High Road pushing this one as hard as they can now. Still not shredded it. And they lay there, very comfortable in the front. Yeah. With uh, nobody behind him. <laughs> Where's uh, Heinrich Hausler? It's just the question as HTC High Road take over once again towards the front. Peter Zagen is on the wheel of Matthew uh, Goss. Goss in third spot in this line out trying at the moment as Tony Martin hits the front and tries to string it out. Goss just takes his last uh, little bit. Oh, De Gent has gone for a bit of a flyer. <laughs> With 1.5 kilometres down. Good on you, lad. Go on. And there's a uh, half a dozen people behind going, what the hell is he doing? HTC High Road having to... Uh, Shut that gap down again. De Gent uh, is on a real high for this one now. He's got us and looking good as well. He's got a slot back in as Rasmussen just drills it at the front. Under the one kilometre to go, Banner. Goss is in a good position, as is Peter Zagen behind. Zagen is on the wheel, or was on the wheel, he still is, of Matt Goss. Matt Goss wants this one, but Zagen does as well. Garen Thomas is bringing Henderson up towards the front. The British champion in a good position at the moment. Now the last man is Tony Martin, I think, for HTC. Looks over his shoulder to see where Goss is. Zagan still looking good. Thomas now puts down the horsepower. Here comes Henderson on the right-hand side. He's going past Goss. Oh, Garrett Thomas, what a fantastic bit of, of work by Thomas. He's got Henderson in the right position at the moment. Zagan goes around the outside. Zagan is a bit forced out at the moment. Henderson goes for the sprint. Henderson on the right hand side looks to be having it at the moment and uh, through the middle comes uh, Matthew Goss Henderson has this one in the bag I think Henderson takes the win oh L almost a crash at the end Greg Henderson for Team Sky takes that ahead of Matthew Goss that was a real flat out sprint Galimzinov comes through as well Terrific finish, and didn't Garrett Thomas use his horsepower to great effect then? He brought uh, Greg Henderson up to the line. Heinrich House on the far right-hand side, and uh, a real lock-up behind from the man from Vacon Soleil. Almost ran into the back of Heinrich Hausler. Henderson gets it ahead of uh, Goss. Goss. Sargon. Sargon in third, is that a confirmed? No. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, Zagan looking across to see where Goss was. Great finish. That's a great win for Greg Henson because that really was a sprint and a half, that one.